What's up, everybody? My name is Braskus, and welcome to Of Orcs and Men. Now, a very, very, very long time ago, the first ever Let's Play that I did on this channel was for Styx Master of Shadows. Styx was the prequel to this game. And I have been wanting to go back and play this for a long time, but thanks to some renewed interest in the original series, now I've got some incentive to go back and play this one. Keep in mind, this one was released before Styx, so if it looks a little rough, that's why. This game's been out for a while. But I'm also real keen to get the whole story, because Styx, Shards of Darkness, is supposed to be releasing sometime later this year, and I really like that game. So, without further ado... Of Orcs and Men. Apart from Styx, nobody has ever seen a goblin speak, or even just show the slightest sign of intelligence. Yeah, there's a reason for that. And I know what it is. Try to use destabilizing attacks against targets that dodge or... Hmm? War. Not exactly a new concept. That's Styx speaking, At by the way. At first it was really about the coming of an empire. All the human kingdoms on the Isirian continent united under a single crown and a single religion. And in both cases, I can tell you they weren't just playing around. But the end result was there. The Emperor Damocles made humans his sword. It was when His Majesty decided he wanted to extend his influence to the southern lands that sparks began to fly. Because, well, the peoples of the south are beast-like green creatures eight feet high, all muscle and nerves, with a natural-born talent for war. That'd so, be the orcs. As figures, they resisted. Despite besieging their villages, and even though the Imperial Army was far better organized, the damned orcs fought back with savage rage, and their victories were the kind remembered for ages. But Damocles wasn't just going to sit there and take it. Of course not. Protecting their territory behind a giant wall, the Empire would never give up land, and its ruler wasn't planning on standing pat. With the construction of the wall, the scale of the war began to alarm the neighboring provinces. Faced with the green peril, the Empire saw the elves and the dwarves as potential allies. With their support, a quick victory over the Greenskins was a certainty, and peace could finally return to the Isirian continent. Afterwards, it just remained to be seen what kind of peace would await the vanquished. Over the decades of conflict, the orcs were already beginning to figure it out. They were much sought after for their strength and toughness, and so grinding slavery was always going to be the result. Submit or die. Needless to say, for a goblin like me, things were going to be just as bad. We were there to be had like rats in a trap. Yeah, it's not easy being a greenskin on this fucking continent. You got my sympathy if that's your case. Oof. Things got grim in these several hundred years or so since the last game. Yeah, Styx is like 200 years old or something at this point, I think. Hmm. Nice goatee. Thud, 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 thud. Eight feet high, jeez. He's got to weigh close to six, seven hundred pounds. Fist. See anything on patrol, Butcher? No, nothing. No footprints. I climbed to the top of a hill to the northwest and saw the heath and their fucking wall to the north. It would make a good lookout point till nightfall. Excellent. The resistance found us a good place to camp to wait for what comes next. You, stand watch there. We'll change every three hours. Dior Hale? Jar Hale? I don't know how to pronounce his Arkin name. I wanted to see you, Butcher. He's probably somewhere around the falls. Why do you keep calling me Butcher? I'll go see him. Very good. Rest for an hour, then take a look around the eastern part. We'll have to stay on our toes now. Dissidents or not, it's tough to trust humans. Difficult to trust anybody. Understood. 
Not that that isn't a really cool name, but I seem to have... My name seems to be Arkale. Why do you keep calling me Butcher? Uh, F1 to open the menu and flip through different pages or access the level map by pressing M and the quest log by pressing J. Uh, that's going to be tricky because I'm not using a mouse and keyboard for this. I'm trying to do it with... There we are. Okay, so inventory, maps. There we are. Objective is up there. Arkale is there. Huh. So it also shows uh, sticks, merchants, and non-playable characters on the legend. So sounds to me that's how it started. Arkale had to find a buddy who wanted to talk with him somewhere in the camp. So I guess maybe later on we can actually switch back and forth between sticks and uh, Arkale. What am I doing here? No idea. Okay. Doesn't matter. It will all become clear to me, I'm sure. Saving content. Okay. Who are you? You also have a sweet beard. like to know why we were brought here something big it's just the worst of us in this one even the chief's gonna get his hands dirty jar hill really we gonna kill the emperor or what probably yes ah, why not that wouldn't hurt us a bit uh oh okay <laughs> him or another quars doesn't change much we still have human allies archive it's not over yet. Apparently, in the time of his father, life was really different from one province on the continent to the next. And it doesn't matter how hard they try, they'll have a tough time finding worse than the Emperor who gave us the Inquisition, massacred our clans, and enslaved our brothers for decades. And the throne would be empty the whole time. We could enjoy that. Ha! Huh. Come back down to Earth. You don't send out a blood jar raiding party to go on parade. But there are limits, you know. With or without allies among the Quarsad, four of us ain't gonna pull off what our armies couldn't do when we were at our strongest. All of this reeks of a last stand, or a suicide mission. Hey, show some guts, Bloodjaw. New objective, okay. Come on, defend yourself, it'll do you good. Okay. That is a big sword. Tactics menu. So it's X to switch to the tactics menu. Uh, the tactics menu slows down the action and lets you select skills you want to use. Maybe it isn't? Hold on. Select the orders you want to your character to execute. You can stack up to four orders in succession for each character you control. That's not. That's my tactics menu. Okay. So defensive, offensive, faint. Huh. Okay. Powerful blow. Oh, but these are for. Oh, it's all offensive. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Offensive. So both of those are the same thing. Ow. Fast, faint, powerful. Number blows three, type of impact heavy. Or number blows two, and you parry. Jeez, these are kind of complicated for me. Screw it. Just go all out. Heavy hits. Berserk. When Berserk, Arkale inflicts a lot of damage but is in uncontrollable until the rage gauge is completely emptied. Blind with rage, the orc ignores defense and may even attack his allies. Okay, go for it. You pissed him off, so now he's just gonna go ape shit all over you. Shh. 
Shit, Arkai, relax. You get angry way too fast. You gotta learn to control that rage of yours, brother. Nobody wants to see you losing control, you know. You think nothing can stop you, but you lower your guard completely, not to mention the time it takes you to come back down after. I could have killed you several times over. No shit, I noticed. But each time I get hit, I'm back in Bay Harbor again. And I go mental. One more reason Bay not Harbor. to get hit, and not to keep trying with the technique that isn't working. I told you to defend yourself, and you went straight to the attack. Instead of going on the defensive while I'm talking to you as a friend, do it while you're fighting. You not only get hit less than when you're in an attacking stance, you also control your rage better, and that gives you the time to study your opponents. Come on, let's try again. Only this time, you parry my attacks in a defensive stance. Okay. Thanks, Arkin. I appreciate your advice and what you're trying to do. But what I really need is some way to blow off steam on a fucking combat lesson. Take the lesson anyway. Uh oh. Who are you? Help! Help me! I'm being followed. I have a message from Lord Barryman for the Blood Jaws. What? What's it about? And where'd you come from? Maybe take them out first. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Earth. Oh boy. You have what you wanted, Berserker. They're all yours. I'll get this messenger somewhere safe. Safe from your murderous rage. Good call. Because this is going to get ugly. Let's do it. Okay, so scroll through the tactics menu wheels to access the different stances available for your character. Each stance has specific bonuses and a range of specific skills. Select the appropriate stance for the situation. I really wish you could tell me to do that. Uh, Arkale's target is designated by a red circle. His companions by a blue circle. Select your target using the mouse or Q and E keys. It's probably going to be the triggers or the joystick. So, I can change defensive, special, restored life points, throw goblin, and offensive. Let's try some of these ones. Quick attack, stunning punch. Uh, can I? There we go. So, I'm going to go with him. We're going to go quick attack and stunning punch. And then we'll go over here and do a powerful blow. Go for it. Oh boy. Stunning punch, powerful blow. Sweet. Man, these guys are beating the shit out of me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Stunning punch. Stunning punch. Powerful blow. And then back to you for another powerful blow. Let's try it. See what happens. Punch. Punch. Oh, he dodged. That's annoying. He dead. And you're next. One, two, three. Oh, he dodged again. There you go. Now you're dead. It's an interesting way for them to do that. I wasn't expecting tactical combat. Thank you. You're the butcher, right? A real killing machine. I thought you were a legend. Shut it, human. Go see our chief in the tent. He was expecting you this evening. I know I'm not telling you anything new, Arkai, but be real careful with that. You've got to control your rage. It can't control you. Okay, shut the fuck up, all right? I'll catch up with you. <laughs> I like him. All right, all right, shut the fuck up, I get it. Come on, where's sticks? I really want to see sticks. Blood Jaws, know that being here today is the greatest honor an orc can hope to receive. You are here for the most important mission in your life, and perhaps in the history of our people. Okay. This war has gone on too long, 
and our enemy is more powerful than ever. But Mother Earth has not abandoned us. We have allies. Do we now? For a while now, we've been preparing our counterattack with their support. But events are speeding up, and fate has turned against them. We have to move fast, now. It's time to put an end to the genocide that's been ravaging our people for decades. An end to this campaign of hate waged against us by the other peoples. My brothers, we must strike our enemy's head. Today, we are setting off to kill the Emperor. It will be a long and arduous journey. Each of you will receive specific instructions. Okay. Needless to say, these instructions, just as your entire mission, must remain entirely secret. You're in enemy territory. Trust no one. Ha! You said something about a suicide mission? There you go. It's worth a shot. Butcher! We'll start with you. Follow me. The rest of you wait outside. You, scrummy little messenger. Stay away. <laughs> yeah, punch, punch. Right. Archive. You go to the wall. A guide will be waiting for you near the east end. Yes! His name is Styx. He will guide you to the mire in the row of floors of the Inquisition's tower where you will contact the resistance. Do nothing that might endanger them. They'll find you. Don't look for them openly or talk about your mission with anyone else. The mire is teeming with traitors. You have been warned. Okay, then. The resistance will help you find High Mage Arkens, who's being held in the tower. The first part of your mission involves freeing her from the Inquisition. This is critical, Bloodjaw. Arkens will then help you reach the Island of Laments, your final destination, where your only task will be to kill the Emperor at all costs. Questions? Ah. Uh, what? No questions or archive. That was the first time I've heard you say my name, Jarhill. What's up with you? Ah. That's true, Bloodjaw. It's a mission for the Butcher of Bay Harbor. But if I don't call you by your real name today, I doubt I ever will. Ah, uh, no more questions. So basically, I cross the wall, get to the mire, where hopefully the Resistance will contact me. Then I free this Arkent from the Inquisition, go off of her to the Island of Laments, and kill the Emperor. Everything's clear. Had easier jobs, but what the hell? Hmm. And you know things always get complicated when you're in the field, Bloodjaw. If you're ready, go now. You should be able to reach the wall during the night. Good luck. Thank you. I'm ready. I wanna go meet Sticks. Go meet Sticks, go meet Sticks, go meet Sticks. This is one of the reasons that I love this particular series, is the fact that you get to play as the orcs and the goblins. There are so few games that I can think of, in fact there aren't any other, no, there's one game I can think of where being a goblin is a good thing. And it's a game I haven't actually played yet and I'm hoping to be able to play, but I'm still trying to recruit some people for that one before I can do it. Of Bay Harbor. Bunch of assholes. They made sure they didn't tell me who I was dealing with. They just gave me a name. Archai. As if they'd even used it since that fucking battle. No point in wondering what the world would be like today if I'd had any freaking clue what was going on. I would have said no. First thing, no fucking way. But to be honest, I already knew it wasn't gonna be a walk in the park. The blood jaws never screw around. Cold as death and twice as savage. Fucking terrifying. But I was blinded by the smell of meat. <laughs> I was gonna be really well paid just to play the guide and get the killing machine to the other side of the wall. And if everything went well, as a bonus, piles of those pale guys were gonna get killed. No kidding. Who could turn down a sweet deal like that? Absolutely. 
In Stealth Stance, Styx becomes almost invisible, but can still be detected if he gets too close within the enemy's field of vision. Yup. God, look at that little profile view of them down there in the corner. He comes up to, like, Arkai's wrist. Maybe his elbow if he's lucky. Okay. Where's my guide? Gotta be around here somewhere. Punch, punch. Let's do it, bro. You wanna go? All eight feet of testosterone filled anger that is my particular character here. There he is. Character model looks a little different. Hey, take it easy. I'm the guy. I like the updates that they did to his character model okay. in the next game. Glad it was easy hooking up. On the other hand, it's gonna be a little bit trickier than I thought. Inquisition is around. The doors are closed and there's a curfew. They're not letting anything or anybody through. It's a real mess. A goblin? Why the hell did they give me a rock ash as a guide? Vermin, huh? Maybe because whatever you think, I'm still the best. I want to know more before I follow you, rock ash. What can I say? You can't just walk up to the wall, knock on the door, and say, Good morning, I'm here to assassinate the Emperor, <laughs> and expect them to open up. You gotta take other paths. And that's where I come in. He's so sarcastic, I love him. Okay, I'm in. All right. I don't like it, but I don't really have a choice. You go first. One wrong move, and I'll rip your head off and shit in the hole. Delightful. Be nice to him, he's awesome. And he's really good at what he does. Get Arkale into Shantytown. Oh, please tell me I get to play with sticks. See? I wasn't bullshitting. They even closed up here. Wait for me. There's a passage just over there. I'll go and open the door. Yes! Okay, sticks, let's do this. Sticks can make his way through cramped spaces and reach areas areas Arkai can't get into. Okay. Yep, there's all his gear. The knife on his shoulder, the throwing knives on the other side. Doesn't look like he's got his special dagger right now, but uh, that's okay. can select the character you want to control at any time using tab, the other character follows you automatically. Okay, there's got to be another button for that. Whoa, okay, that's my stealth ability. This seems to do that. Why? Why changes character, okay. Well, since they told me to change, I'll use archive for now. Ooh, what we got here? Four human soldiers? Nope, nope. Seven or eight of them. Who are you supposed to be, a Sith Lord? You call that patrolling, scumbags? Get those feet moving. I want to hear the sound of your boots, or there won't just be wood on the fire the next time you take ten. Oof. That's going to be tough. Ah, oh, shit. We can't go that way. What? Because of those four runts? Look, if we start beating everyone up, we'll never get out of here. Especially seeing as how they just got told off. If we get involved in that, the entire place will be all over our asses. You're scared. 
Yeah, I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Seriously, what did I tell you before? You gotta be discreet, like subtle. You can't just go wading in like a pig that sees a pile of shit. <laughs> we should go around. We can go down that alleyway over there. Because there's no militia over there? There'll be a lot less of them. We should be able to handle them my way. Quietly. That's what I like to hear. Take them out quick and quiet. But, guess what guys? I'm all, all out of time for this particular episode. So, thank you all for joining me. I'm a very excited to get this game underway. So, I hope to see you all in the next video. If you've enjoyed it, please let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the section below. And as always, I'll see everyone in the next video. Catch you guys later.